I just want to know one thing from you, okay? Just one thing. And it's the same thing I want to know from you. Are you ready for some good news? First up, a new study finds that the tardigrade may have what it takes to be the last surviving species on Earth. Tardigrades, also called water bears, are some of the most resilient organisms known to science. These microscopic animals can live through exposure to extreme temperatures and the vacuum of space and are able to survive for decades without food or water. Tardigrades are so indestructible, in fact, that a new study from Oxford University predicts they'll be able to survive pretty much any global catastrophe likely to happen in the next 10 billion years or so. Since tardigrades live in water, about the only thing that could threaten their survival as a species would be if the temperature of Earth's oceans were raised to the boiling point. The Oxford study looked at three possible future events that might conceivably cause that to happen. An asteroid impact, a supernova, and a gamma ray burst. The study concluded that an asteroid large enough, or a supernova or gamma ray burst close enough to threaten the existence of tardigrades is extremely unlikely to occur between now and the death of the sun, which means it's very possible tardigrades unlike our own species, or pretty much any other species currently in existence, will survive until then as well. Tough little critters, and so much cuter than cockroaches. The study is published in Scientific Reports. I know that first story was more of a good news if you're a tardigrade sort of thing, and I don't have that many tardigrades in my audience, so this next one is for all my fellow coffee drinkers out there. A study from the University of Hawaii Cancer Center and the University of Southern California's Keck School of Medicine has found that drinking coffee was associated with longer lifespan and reduced risk of some of the most common causes of death, including cancer, heart disease, stroke, and respiratory and kidney disease. Participants in the study who drank one cup of coffee per day were found to have a 12% lower risk of those common causes of death. Participants who drank three cups a day were found to have an 18% lower risk. These benefits were observed in participants from four different ethnicities, African American, Latino, Japanese American, and white, and in people who drank both regular and decaffeinated coffee. It's important to note that the authors of the study did not conclude that drinking coffee definitely makes you live longer. They simply observed an association between drinking coffee and being less likely to develop the aforementioned life-threatening conditions. All the same, the potential positive effects of drinking coffee are starting to accumulate. That morning cup of coffee might taste good and perk you up, but it might also be helping you to live longer. This study is published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. And finally, a bit of space news. NASA has released the best pictures ever of Jupiter's great red spot. The defining characteristic of the planet Jupiter, the great red spot was first observed from Earth in the 17th century. It's a massive storm in the planet's atmosphere, 10,000 miles wide. That's over 2,000 miles larger than the diameter of Earth. For centuries, it's fascinated astronomers like few other features of our solar system. And now, thanks to NASA's Juno spacecraft, we have the best pictures ever taken of the Great Red Spot. This image, taken from less than 9,000 miles above the Jovian atmosphere, has been enhanced to pick up more detail from the turbulent swirls of clouds that churn continuously around the darker center of the spot. Then there's this one. Notice the lighter bands of clouds around the edge of the spot. An entire region of Jupiter's atmosphere is being drawn into this massive whirlpool of clouds and wind. Juno was launched from Earth in 2011 and reached Jupiter just over a year ago. Its next close flyby of Jupiter will be on September 1st. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something honestly? And I hope this doesn't hurt your feelings. I don't think that you are as cute as a tardigrade. I'm sorry. You're adorable, but you're not water bear adorable. I hope you can live with that. Anyway, to recap, tardigrades will outlive us all, and 
will also probably outlive just about everything else on the earth. Drinking coffee could yield health benefits and yield longer lifespans. Hey, can you imagine if tardigrades started drinking coffee? I mean, they would be unstoppable, forget about it. And NASA's Juno spacecraft takes the most amazing images yet of Jupiter's great red spot. That is the good news. I'm sorry I said that stuff about the water bears. I shouldn't compare you. It's not good for me and it's not good for you. I, I really shouldn't put that on you. Anyway, hi everybody. One more thing before we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.